What's going on? It's me, Mr. Ryan, and welcome back to another video, and today, guys, welcome to part 4 of Amnesia The Dark Descent. If you remember from the last video, we got stuck in a sewer system for majority of the episode. Like, literally, the entire episode was us just in a sewer, uh, like a drain system and then a sewer system. So, I'm so glad to be back in, like, part of the castle area. Um, I do not know how far in the game we are. I don't even know if we're close to being done or not, but, uh, yeah. So, at least from my perspective, I don't know if we're done, but <laughs> you guys will probably know. But, yeah, let's just hop straight into this. Um, yeah, that door's locked. So, there was a levers in here, and then in here was, like, a giant staircase that led down to something. I don't know what. Um, yeah, it's a pretty big staircase. So, I guess let's just, uh, keep going down, I guess. I guess we'll find out what we're trying to look for down here. Okay, we got some more of these. Can I pick that up, please? Thank you. We'll put that here. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes? Soon. I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? So they're gonna test something, it sounds like. Do I know what that is? No. But I think we will find that out here pretty soon. I just wanna light up the staircase. So I definitely can't light anything up up there. So let's just go check out this door down here. Oh, oh okay. Labor oh, the laboratory. So now we're back to the laboratory. Shall fall, you say. <laughs> You've hurried too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. He has one. That's, that's not very promising at all. The sector is basically impenetrable. But guess the why not? It could be breached by another. But Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Well, if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken orb and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak matter, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the choir and the transept. You should be able to find them there. Okay. Daddy, I hate to bother you further. But, if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? No. I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at him. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help them. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this. Sorry, I need a... I want to check this out. An orb is needed to enter the inner sanctum. Its shattered pieces lie scattered in the torch. Okay. Oh man, we 
got a lot. A heavy door is blocking the path. Agrippa, the dying man, seeks a note written by a man named Johann Meyer. Is this Agrippa? Who, me? I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. I was once quite important to you. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead husk for years. Who knows how many? There's so much here. Alright, um... Pick it up. <laughs> there we go. Appreciate all the tinder boxes, that's for sure. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. A taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in a dim haze. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. It's a cut Volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Uh, they will be back. This story is all over the place. I'm not even like, like, something just doesn't make sense. Okay, uh, so we're trying to open those big doors. That's, that's kind of our first mission objective. Seems like. Help her! Find a way! a little further. It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? What do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't matter. It's just a myth after all. Where the hell am I? So he went that way, so I'm going this way. of August 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready.
that way, and I need to go that way, so. Shatter orb. All is lost. I must once again start over. Ever since I recovered the orb first found by Agrippa, I have depended on it for my research. The incident with Wilhelm made me most impetuous, fearing a paucity? paucity of prisoners. I proceeded with the final ritual without proper foresight. The orb cracked and fell into six parts. I have tried everything, but I have yet to, to mend the thing. Unless I can think of a way to piece it together. I will have I will have to find another. There is still life in the pieces and even if the orb isn't restored, I might I might be able to salvage some of its power for some other purpose. Centuries have passed in vain and I begin to wonder if I will ever be able to see my love again. How much longer can I sustain my life? So it sounds like he lost somebody to the orb or just someone? And he wants them back. Okay, got like some sort of papers. Okay. Oh, is this the ritual room? Yeah, I think this is the ritual room, guys. That's fine. Now let's head down over there. the end of the game, to be honest now, because I feel like this is kind of like a final stretch type thing, but we'll see. Because we're definitely in some sort of temple-esque place, so there can't be much else other than this. There's no way. This game's on crack if there is. Okay. Go back. yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. 
Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Oh, shut up. Come here. Finally, I'm the next best thing. Alexander really fine. None of this is your hand. It does look like it kind of pushes through. We have, oh, I only, excuse me? Okay. Stairs. I need to like, I need to hurry a little. There's levers in here. I could probably use the levers. Whoever's on the top floor are not working, it is probably some problem with the machinery. try everything one at a time, but, ah, uh, man. Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. You'll find a way Again, I'm just stuck at a stupid roadblock that makes no sense. Like, I can't tell if I need to do one thing at a time or, or what.
I'm just gonna skip ahead until I find something, so uh, I'll be right back, guys. Land which had not been plundered. Do you know Mithraises? Sometimes consume themselves or break, then used by an uninitiated. I was lucky. So all I found spared my life and returned to where I found them. I know because Alexander took it, but it was right away. I was a brave man and dared to proceed that I did not. He unearthed a number of cavern temples and gathered a whole collection of orbs. But unlike every other finder since the fall of the slave day, he was able to unshackle the heart you and I connected with the orbs. He used them and was able to travel far and wide beyond the world itself. Basically, um, never would have found that. Uh, there's this hatch above where the torture area was. Um, didn't even see it. I didn't even notice it was there. I spent probably about an hour, no, that's a little exaggerated, more like 30 minutes probably, looking for something. Couldn't find it, so I had to look it up. Um, yeah, there's a hatch there. I didn't even know it was there. No, don't kill her. So, yeah, now I can get the machine working. I'm literally an idiot for this, but... There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What's with the music? <laughs> Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. What are you talking about? Dad, good to see you. You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Up 
thoughts on torture? There are quite a few things to be said about the torture. About torture. I had figured that the re the re reaction, sorry, I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The hu the humans are all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creatures can break out in fits of violence where their strengths exceed their expectation. Power, power is, I have no idea what that word means. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should be not a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed. Proceed by presenting the form of torture you're about to imply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear. Simply by imagining it will, while, simply imagining it. While imply, imp, applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient in, if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting like the victims, stri strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it it will continue to proceed the the vita and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximi maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for, for naught. Before this happens, feed them the, the amnesia drink and try again. or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time, it must work. If I can't return home somehow, I shall perish. Okay. Find on oil. take much to break him they had meant for him it they had meant for him to die but the torture was working beyond their expectations 
It wasn't the method. It wasn't the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. The impaler, huh? Alright. God, this, this is terrible. Okay, so we found two shards, and I think, what, there's six, it said? So, oh, I didn't even notice that one guy up there. Okay. I think my guy is tripping all day. because I want to, but because I just want to see what this one has to say. Yeah, there we go. The kidnapper sat on his knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands be lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body cracked loudly. Ugh. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men com contemplating, contemplated their next steps. Ugh. Humans are terrible creatures. Like, forget tigers, bears, and sharks. Like, humans are... Humans are brutal. Just because of all the ways that we created to torture our own species. Definitely something in there, um, but I'll deal with that in a minute. Dad, good to see you. How you doing? You seem to have found all the all pieces used in the transfer. Go to the choir and find the rest. The remaining more pieces can be found in the choir, or choir, or whatever. channels wire uh, wire taunts me from the other side I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa how an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been my for, for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond fire claims he's tried his best to best to release me from my banishment but that, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa for first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige. But how am I to part from him in, if my return might be denied? I know what, there are, what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is the most hopeless feeling, but I must retrain, re retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Fire told me to feed him in a tectonic made from a paralyzer, Vita and Tamter. The poisonous fungi would work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. 
The choir seem the I'm gonna call it choir. The choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sword. I should then be able to extract its content with the proper tools. The vita could be extracted as usual from any agonizing human victim's blood. I just need a large amount to distill its proper pro it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. What? Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of a secretion in the water dwelling. Karak. I will have to address wire with this as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared prepared well should s suffice to contain it. Got another one. I'll take more ten minutes, ten minutes, whatever. Let's see what we got. In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sat quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once I, once in a while, someone would notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am one of one in one the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their father's places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same age, not by time, but by anguish. August 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. I think we're the murderer. Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah, now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Oh, what the hell? Is... Oh, that was not there before. Oh my God. Maybe she knows. game become after the men had secured the prisoners the ritual began is that up in your too? no alright well down I go oh jesus this took like the darkest 
turn I've ever seen in a game. Holy. Dude, that is awful. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. He's right there. I think I can see him a little bit. Yeah, he's over there. I think I see him. Trader did not know what to think of the brass bowl as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bowl's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bowl's bell. Uh, God. You know, I saw the bowl and I thought it was going to be something different. That's four. Yeah, that's four. God. Like, he used every single type of torture known to mankind. Like, that's how insane this guy is. good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb.
Okay. One more. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with an, in, with an intent so the rope secured around his legs stretched and cracked at the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other and each other knowingly knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Alright. Now the question is where is the last one? It is so hard to see. group here so we've been there's one at the back one at the side so there's got to be one more at the other side which will probably be where the last one is i i just need, I just need a second i just need to take a second two four five yeah so it has to be on that left like it has to be to our left somewhere so as soon as we go in here we can kind of head to the left a little bit you get text messages okay stood absolutely still. The casket has been closed, but a faint a faint light made it made its way inside. A merida of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to split just for a moment. His knee his knee jerked and felt and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain his in pain his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and begun to leave. Yeah, that's um that's a terrible torture device right there. Okay, I can probably run this without having to worry. I just like kinda hug the edges here. Should be fine. I'm gone. I'm gone. Goodbye. <laughs> you ain't getting me. Head back to the dude, uh, whatever his name is. Ag 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 Agrippa? Yeah, Agrippa. Uh, one note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients a pedestal for an orb. Agrippa, diamond seeks to know. Okay. Bodies are gone. So, let's... 
let's go find Agrippa and see what he says we need to do. It's where he wants to go. Is that the election? If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, Daniel. Please, find the ingredients that has a tonic via disguise. And do so before you assemble the orb. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the orb. You won't be able to save him. Okay. Uh... jump really quickly to do that and then I will be right back because I don't want to bore you guys with having to make a tectonic and that so yeah I'll be right back I didn't know that was glowing all right well I got a thing of meat apparently so it's kind of head back. wait I heard a monster in that well if you remember, so I see that all the all pieces you need. Shut up. Okay, um. Yeah, like that, whatever that is. Could I, uh. I can. Alright, I'll slow it down. Yes. Um, the tonic made to save him. So it's probably uh, three ingredients. So what if I... This one... Uh, so there's poisonous fungi. The Vita. Victim's blood. And I think Tamter is something with Unworldly, so I, I think I got something down now. So I've made the sad realization that um, I have to go back to the choir to pick up this poisonous stuff. Um, because, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't really that, so I gotta go back into this piece of hot trash and somehow find it. I don't even know what this looks like. I don't even, I don't know. I just gotta try something.
so hard to see, I'm not gonna lie. This, this, now we just need that. Whatever. Uh, do we have like, we got a glass thing. There, like, I wonder if there's like some sort of place I could look for. Something there for me, I guess. 
try not to use as much of my lamp as possible. Until I find more oil. confusing me is how we're supposed to be underground but yet you literally can you have windows like I don't think that's how that works but <laughs> I, heard... she dead? I see that all the all pieces you need I know I have no right to ask here like Anything of you, but if you could find it in your heart to gather the oh, all right. Um, I see that all the odd pieces shut up. Hmm. There's something back towards the chancel, uh, in one of the rooms, you know. Oh, my freaking eyes hurt. supposed to do there <laughs> um did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption, how you would face the orb's shadow and save our work, and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. Expecting that. To say the least. Can I combine it with something?
use my chisel on it. It looks like it wants to break though. Could I, uh, like throw the fuck out? screwed. Prisoner note. There's little left to say. I wrote solely to prevent myself from revisiting the memories of these past few days. If I am fortunate, I will fall asleep and time will pass without effort. I have begun to wean my, myself of my prison. When I first arrived, I felt like I was being buried inside a tomb, but now I feel the closed walls comforting me. As long as I am in here, with in here there is no pain. The walls protect me from the outside. I I even laughed earlier as one of my, of my wardens dropped a key down the pipes. It gave me hope for a second, thinking I could escape if only I could somehow reach it from here. In my dreams, Alexander, I am king. In my dreams, I best you and escape your clutches in return with all the knights of the realm carrying pistol and sabers in my dreams. but I can't reach it. Ooh, what if I... Nice. How about you use the goddamn key?
music calm down. <laughs> the music calm down. Are we good? of August, 1839. Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside Altstadt lies a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farmer, lives with his wife and three children. visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike Zimmerman down without alerting the other. Sounds like it. As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. up again.
Okay, we got Wayne Sonic. Okay. So now let's go. I saw I lost you. The castle crumbled and I could hear the chancel collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. Get me through that gate. You got it. Okay, this has to be it. I really have all the pieces needed. For God's sake! I'm done with this game, bro. Yeah, he saw me. Okay. So, um... Oh my God, that was so annoying, because I just kept getting caught on that stupid stuff, like...
1839. Downfall. I cannot believe what I have become. One of the girls escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent. But to kill an innocent? To save myself? A cold-blooded murderer. I would definitely describe you. Stuff, so this needs to be the final stretch. Well, that still hurts. What? Blocks of passage. Oh, a griffin wants to have his head sawn off. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm hurt real bad, so. Okay. Um, let's go cut off his head. Return and give me a second chance. But said let's go back now I'm pretty sure that's it I'll double check the little thing my little booklet thingy and then we will go from there Herb. 
blocks, pedestals. Yeah, it's all just everything with the orb. It's all just the orb now. So, ugh, my head's starting to hurt. It coming. Like my head is in like my outer head, part of my head. It's not fair. I'm Man. not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. And now, I merely await my death. I'm too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I'm as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away. As we did with them.
another puzzle. my greatest triumph, and I never looked back. You think I was afraid fleeing Brennenberg? Huh. Quite the contrary. I would have probably killed Alexander myself, to be honest. I knew it was my purgatory. Hellfire made to wash away my sins. I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't walk, I couldn't walk any further. There's no denying the things I've done, but I have paid my tribute. I gave them that awful man. I did the right thing.
off so I can hear myself talk. That is going to do it for Amnesia the Dark Descent. I will say that this game is definitely... You can tell it's over 10 years old. Uh, it came out in 2010, actually, so it's way more than 10 years old. Uh, it's going about 14 years old now. So it's going to be... It's not... It's not really aging quite well, but it, I mean, it still holds up pretty decently. Um, this game, I, I, I would probably give it a six out of ten. It was good at points. The only reason why I didn't get it higher or put it higher is because it's really complicated, and it's not kind of. It didn't seem like when I was loading into this game or jumping into this game, it was going to be a, a game kind of like it w ended up becoming. Which is not a bad thing, but at the same time, it didn't really meet my expectations, so it kind of failed a little bit. Um, but for a scary game, it, it, it worked. It got me at a, a, quite a few different parts, but yeah. With that being said, um, thank you guys so much for enjoying this series of Amnesia. Um, I will say I'm going to try and play the other ones. Probably, I probably won't for another couple months, because this game... It's kind of exhausting for me physically and mentally because, well, one, I have to record uh, each of the episodes, but then I also have to put myself through stress and just this pent up kind of like fear all the time because I don't do well with scary games. Uh, but yeah, so look for the future amnesia, uh, the next amnesia games that will probably come out sometime soon uh on my channel and uh yeah so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy please leave a like uh comment down below if you did enjoy the amnesia game uh this game of amnesia the dark descent or for the sake of engagement hit the subscribe button that'd be very much appreciated hit the notification bell to get notified of every time we upload a brand new video just like this one and with that i'll talk to you guys next time